So stepping into 2024, don't be afraid to make sacrifices and let go of things that you know aren't in alignment with your authentic self. Sometimes we forget that you have to let go if you want to free up space. If you don't let go, nothing ever changes. You have to create the necessary space for something new to be able to enter. And whatever that is for you, you'll know what it is if you don't feel good around it or if you don't feel good around the person. It's that simple. Your feelings are an internal compass. They show you if you're moving in the right direction or if you're on the wrong path. It's really that simple. When you feel good, when you feel happy, when you feel peaceful, you're doing something right. When you have issues with people, when you're constantly complaining about your job, it's because you're still feeding into some sort of a limitation that you have. So you're capping yourself. You're not, you're not allowing yourself to blossom. You have to let go of something. You got to free up space. This is how you let the universe know that you're ready for something new, but it's an emotional letting go. It's not a physical letting go. So for example, you can stay at your job that you're miserable in as long as you stop being miserable, right? Be grateful for the fact that you get to make money as you figure it out. So it's more of an emotional letting go of the complaining, an emotional letting go of the, the toxic behaviors that the people in your life have. Stop engaging with them. Start loving yourself enough to say, no, I'm only going to invest in the reality that makes me happy, that brings me peace, that brings me joy. I'm only going to engage with the things that are in alignment with my authentic self. The reason why you struggle so much is because you keep doing things that go against your truth. Even working at a job that you don't like is going against your truth because your truth is you don't like it, but you're not bold enough and confident enough to finally let it go, you know? So the list goes on. My point is, um, yeah, just you have to be willing to let go to free up space, even if that's a relationship. Good morning. Um, if it's a relationship, if it's a behavior, if it's you getting reactive all the time, you've got to emotionally let go of that. Let go of the story that everyone's going to hurt you. Let go of your idea that you're not loved, that you're not wanted. Let go of anything on an emotional level that's holding you back. Free up space. Let the universe know that you're ready for change. This is how we have to be in 2024. You know, Michael Jordan had to let go of friends probably. He had to let go of a lot to become Michael Jordan. And I don't want to speak on his behalf. I'm sure he has plenty of friends. But you have to make sacrifices if you want to achieve your dreams. You have to. You have to. This is part of the game. You know, a lot of people are going to want things from you. But that's because they might be more small-minded than you. So all they think about is you and having a, a relationship with you and having a friendship with you or spending more time with you. But if you're too available for them, you're never going to get shit done. If you want to achieve your dreams, if you want to achieve your destiny, you've got to feed the thing that you want. Otherwise, it's never going to come true. So people in your life have to understand. And if they can't understand that you've got things to accomplish, then they're not supporting your journey. They're not empowering you. All right. I love you.